this bastard's tongue is not long enough. But it is certainly forked and dispenses lies. A jewel with an imaginative effigy of Baphomet, the idol revered by the Knights Templar. <sighs> That stinking beast of a guard is hiding something from me. Perhaps if he got drunk. Here is your wine. Drown in it, you wretch. Prose it. The Lord rewards you for your gift. <laughs> You vile blasphemer! Now tell me, what did you mean before? There is perhaps another library? You are too curious. If you want me to talk, bring me more wine! You blaggard! My wrath will annihilate you! Oh, you scare me! But your anger will never quench my thirst, nor your curiosity. You are boring me. Talk, you foul creature! Talk. Talk is tiring. Better to sing. You are playing with fire, I warn you! Ibi nullus tim ex mortem sed pro bac. Commitunt sortem primo pronumata vini ex hac bibunt libertini semelt bibunt pro captivis pos hec bibunt ter provivis. That's enough. Non yes pro monarchis dispersis, deces pro navigantibus, undeces pro discordantibus, duodeces pro penitentibus, tredieces pro iliter agentibus. Sing. Sing and drink. Go on. Quater pro Christianis cunctis. <laughs> Quinquies pro fidelibus defunctis. Sexies pro sororibus vanis septis. <laughs> pro. Militibus Silvanis, octies pro fratribus perversi. What a charming song. The perfect accompaniment for the wine I have brought you. <coughs> Nonius pro monarchis dispersis. Decius pro... pro navigantibus. Undecius pro discordantibus. Duodecius... Pro penitentibus tradicies pro iter agentibus. What a despicable beast. What a shame I cannot purify him at the stake. So, have you quenched your thirst? A little water rusts your armor. 
Only wine is worthy of a soldier. <gasps> How is the wine? Bah! I have drunk better. <gasps> In taberna quando sumus non curamus, <clears throat> quid sit humus sedat ludum properamus, Semper Infodamus. Are you feeling well? You have a strangely earthy color, like that of an unfaithful Saracen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Saracen, that's a good one. You priests have always scorned knowledge that is older than your own. All of you, apart from the Knights Templar. You have an interesting theory. I presume, therefore, that you are familiar with certain beliefs that the Crusades came across. That's right, <clears throat> Father. Now tell me. I know there is another library, and that the key is hidden somewhere, or by someone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, there is. You are truly discerning. And what is in the library? <laughs> Books. <laughs> Books that a good monk like you should not read. And where is the key to this library? Talk, you drunkard. Ah, certain confidences are precious, my dear Dominican, and are worth many gold coins. But bring me more wine, and this time, drink with me. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Ah, it's terribly hot here. This filthy castle is getting even more muggy and stinking. Close draw. I could find some more wine to give to the guard. Or something else. I must find a way of moving it and forcing it open. managed to break it. The drawer is open. A bottle of poison. I could use this with I know who. A bottle. I say it contains the end.
That is an object of blasphemy. I would never dare. I see an excellently made statue of Saint Vitalis. Are you blind, father? That's not Saint Vitalis. Did you drink all the wine you did not bring to me? That's Baphomet. Interesting. Tell me, who is it? It is the symbol of the Knights Templar. The Templars that Philip the Fair wiped out because they had become too rich and powerful. If I'm not mistaken, the Templars liked to kiss each other on the ass. An initiation kiss to wake up the Kundalini Snake. You are well informed for a bastard mercenary. Well done. The Templars. Philip the Fair did well to eliminate them. The Order had fallen to the errors of heresy. Don't you agree? God's wallop. The Templars had found the true compromise between the hypocritical Christian faith and the knowledge of the infidels. You, for one, would not be willing to kiss the seat of your brothers as the Templars did. The Order of the Templars no longer exists, priest. I thought as much. And you are ready to recant the tradition you inspire to follow. You certainly don't have the guts to kiss your idol. You must be mad, old man. Do you want to see? Ugh, truly disgusting. Congratulations. Seeing you do that turns my stomach. <laughs> really? Then watch this. I feel awful. That wine must be really bad. Which barrel did you get it from? The usual one. But you are feeling bad because I poured the contents of this bottle onto your beloved idol. Poison! I'm sorry it doesn't have a better flavor. You... You... You did what? You... Oh, I feel sick. How do you feel? Bad, you damn Dominican. My arms and legs are, are becoming as stiff as a board. Interesting. The poison was probably made from... What was its name? Datura, maybe. A plant that is also known as Devil's Grass, if I am not mistaken. I can feel my heart slowing down. It's stopping. This is also very interesting. It makes me think of a possible compound of poison based upon an extract of Amanita muscaria. You know, that red mushroom covered in little white spots? <laughs> as lively as it is lethal. I have no intention of saving the soul of this blasphemer from hell. Come, come. 
Don't worry. You see this puddle? It holds the antidote. Give it to me. We are in a hurry, aren't we? Tell me what I want to know, and the bottle will be yours. There is a secret library, closed by a locked door, opened by a key. Where is the key? Yes, you cursed monk. There is a library, and there is a key. I have it. Very good. It is indeed true. In vino veritas. At last I have the key to the secret library. And here is your bottle. It's empty! Yes, unfortunately. I noticed that too when I found it. And so, you damned priest, you have poisoned me, knowing that there was no way out for me. You wretched heretic! What did you expect? There is no other antidote for your sins than repentance? And that certainly cannot come from me. Uh, my god! Damn! Key to the secret library. The guard's body is now lifeless. Perhaps I should rid myself of this blasphemous corpse. I must hide the bastard's filthy corpse. Triangular piece of metal. A thick layer of lime scale. Underneath there must be an opening mechanism that nobody has used for years. I must scrape it off, but I need a suitable tool.